Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. You're listening to another life-changing word from Pastor Kelly Anderson. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. It says, now is this is the confidence that we have in Him. You know that there's a confidence that you can have. And the confidence comes when you... I want to talk to you today about praying. Praying with effectiveness, praying with purpose. But this is a confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. That no matter what, it could be like the smallest thing or it can be like the largest thing. He hears you. He cares about every single step of your life, everything that you have in front of you and everything in your future. He cares and He hears you. And this is the confidence that you can have in Him. You see, there's, we're supposed to declare and decree, right? The promises of God. We see them in His Word. We know that they bring victory in our life. But what happens between knowing the promise and declaring that promise and seeing the fulfillment of that promise happening in your life? That's where the prayer comes in. And I love this story. I heard this story in the Bible many, many years ago. First Kings chapter 18. It was Elijah. And here's the thing about Elijah. He prayed some pretty effective prayers. And he, bit, he believed God for big things. He raised the dead. He did some pretty amazing things. And I don't know about you, but when I read God's word, I, I get ignited on the inside. My faith gets strengthened when I read stories like Elijah, because I say to myself, oh God, if you could do it for him, you can do it for me. God, one day I'm gonna raise someone from the dead. I actually believe that because if it's in his word, he, he, he did it for that person, he can do it for you. And here's the crazy thing about Elijah. He was really into the weather. You know that? One year he decided, or I mean, God, I mean, God did tell him there was supposed to be a famine. There was a famine for three years, no rain. Sorry, not a famine, a drought. And then now he's praying for the rain to restore, to come back. And this, in this particular story, um, he gets on his knees, he goes up onto the mountain. But he said this before he got, made his way up to the mountain. He said, I hear the abundance of rain. Now there had been, not been rain for three years, but he starts to make that declaration. I hear an abundance of rain. And he made his way to the top of the mountain and he got out on his knees and he began to pray. And he said to his servant, I want you to go and I want you to report to me, go out and see if that rain is coming. And so he sent that servant out and he laid down. He said, he started praying and I can just imagine he was saying I can hear an abundance of rain coming right now and that servant came back and he said nope no rain he said go again and he got down on his knees he said I hear an abundance of rain God I know that you will fulfill every promise that you have sent you sent your word you're going to heal this land you're going to bring rain onto this land right now I hear an abundance of rain coming and he sent him seven times and on that seventh time he had that cloud the size of his hand and that abundance of rain came raining down i don't know about you but when we pray an effective prayer and we do not give up god can move mountains god can make it rain god can heal our nation these are things that can happen when we pray this year is going to be a year of effective prayer in your life. We have two weeks till 2021. And this is going to be a year that we are going to see our prayers answered. Every time you pray, you're going to see your lives change. You're going to see your finances change. You're going to see your children change. You're going to see finances change. You're going to see things a remarkable change because we're going to start praying prayers like Elijah prayed. Who's in with me? <laughs> this is the confidence that you have, that he hears you, that if it is according to his will, he hears you, no matter how big and no matter how small. If you're new here today, we do this declaration together as we receive our tithes and offerings. And so we say this together as a church family. So here we go. Thank you, Lord, that as your word is declared today, 
Healing is coming to my body, to my heart, and to my family. I am freed from fear, addictions, and poverty. Your peace, joy, and love are flooding my soul. I am blessed. I am highly favored. I believe, receive, and act upon your word, and all of this by the strength of Christ within me. In Jesus' name, amen.